All right, so this is the 1938 Chevy Master Deluxe. Making the video to post for the vehicle to be for sale. So I'm gonna go through it real quick. Um, overall, the body is very straight, um, you know, solid. It's a couple of rust spots, which I'll show you going over this. Um, real quick, this rear suspension is just leaf spring suspension on uh, these blocks. You can see on the other side across there, um, the big shocks are what are being used now. The smaller shocks, I think, were just a backup or maybe an original, but they're not they're not mounted or anything, but they don't get in the way. But So lowering the rear wouldn't be a big deal. Um, you can see this is the original frame of the vehicle uh, that runs all the way. And uh, there's a couple of spots on the floor that were cut out where obviously there was rust. And they put a patch panel, um, but overall the rest of the bottom of the body is in really, really good condition. Um, exhaust has mufflers on it. And uh, that front suspension up there, when I get to the other side, I'll, I'll go over that. So, rear suicide doors open and shut very well. Inside's a little dusty. It's got the uh, original mohair uh, headliner, which is in good shape. Right back there, there's a little bit of you know, marks on it, but uh, some wear, I guess. But overall, the rest is in really good shape. Aftermarket seats, obviously, um, just need to be cleaned up. All of these trim pieces here are here, and that's a big deal. And the door handles and the window cranks and all that type of stuff. Originally, they were not chrome. They were black. Um, somebody chromed them out, but at least they're all there to do what you want. I do have the other window handles and cranks and all that type of stuff right there. Um, this is the glove box. And... Um, Carpet could use a change for sure. Um, that'd be no big deal, just laying down carpet. Um, nice seats, uh, they are tilt seats. Um, the front ones are actually power, they're not hooked up. Um, on the inside of these door frames, there's airbrushing. I don't know if it can pick up, but it's like uh, some skulls, light skulls in the airbrushing. Um, door panels are in really good condition. Again, all the uh, trim and all that type of stuff. Has an aftermarket Chevy tilt steering wheel. Uh, the automatic transmission shifter on the floor um you know really good condition i mean to find a vehicle like this the uh sun visors so coming around the back here trunk one of the trunk hinges are broke um there is some obvious bondo work in the back um that's going to need to be fixed that where it's dried and cracked um trunk just got some miscellaneous in it but all in good shape Coming back around here on the other side, put a locking gas cap that I had off one of my old trucks. There's some rust down here on the passenger bottom door, um, but overall the rest of it's pretty good. Got the uh, wire spoke, true knockoff wheels, and I do have the wrench, some uh, airbrushing on the hood, and some more skulls. So uh, this is the motor I was telling you about. Uh, the I put in on the uh, radiator, put in the radiator hoses, the overflow, the cap, um, did the fuel lines, um, air filter, all that type of stuff. But uh, again, the carb needs to be rebuilt. <clears throat> Front end's all good. So let's get to the suspension part. So back to uh, it having its original frame coming along here. And then they welded this piece that is welded to a Mustang 2 front end. So literally, if somebody came across here and cut that weld all the way across, you got the original frame again, you could drop it back down onto a Mustang 2, different Mustang 2 front end, or just use this one cutting off that extra metal. Um, but overall, the vehicle was done correctly. Um, and uh, that's what it would take to bring it back down. So that's the 38 Chevy.